Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to the secret dungeon in Final Fantasy XV. Getting to this dungeon can be a real pain in the ass, but it's totally worth it because once you complete the dungeon, you're going to get one of the best accessories in the entire game. It's probably the best. It's called the Black Hood, and it's actually extremely good. What it does is that it allows you to automatically evade attacks. So the way to think of this thing is that it's going to hold down your dodge slash block button for you at all times. The only time you can be hit with this thing is when you are attacking. So it's not incredibly broken because if you are attacking, you can be hit and you can die. But if you're not attacking, you will pretty much automatically dodge everything and automatically block everything. So it's extremely good. I would highly recommend getting this accessory right away once you beat the game. It should be the first thing that you will do because it's going to make all the other in-game activities much easier. Now I'm going to show you where the secret dungeon is and the reward for beating it is going to be the black hood. Now you don't have to worry about your level because there's no enemies inside of the dungeon. Now there are some powerful enemies leading up to the dungeon but there are no enemies inside the dungeon. All it is is a bunch of jumping puzzles and they're really cool but really frustrating and I am not a fan of gravity that is for sure. But the jumping puzzles are interesting if you are having trouble, you can always look up a video on how to do certain parts. I would recommend doing it on your own and trying to figure it out because it's a lot of fun. But if you're really stuck, just look up a video. I'm not going to be showing you guys how to beat the dungeon. It took me about three hours to beat this dungeon. But I will show you guys how to get to the dungeon because getting there is actually kind of complicated in itself. What you're going to need to do is get the flying car. Now, if you don't know about the flying car, you need to go to this military base north of Hammerhead. And you need to beat it. I believe it's like level 50. But once you beat it, you're going to get the strange engine. Now, you don't actually have to beat the game to beat this military base. In Chapter 8, you can come here and beat this base. But if you want the flying car, you have to beat the game. Once you have beaten the game, you will take the strange engine to Cindy in Hammerhead. And then she will make your car into the flying car. And then we can make our way over to the secret dungeon. Now, to get there, you're going to be looking for this yellow strip right here on the map and this is north of the volcano place and i would recommend marking it on your map all right so it's time to now get into the car now one thing i actually have to say if you want to get into the dungeon it has to be nighttime. so you might want to go ahead and make sure it's night and then you can just run past all the enemies if you don't want to fight them but if you do take the time to fight them it might turn daytime so you need to be a little bit careful try to make your way to the dungeon as soon as you can and make sure that it is nighttime. And also, there is some other really great loot in there, especially Oracle Ascension Coins. There's about maybe 20, maybe even 30 in there. I don't really remember. Okay, so what I would recommend to do is fly the opposite way, and then you're going to want to turn around. And I always like to turn around from the left, because the way that you want to approach this is going to be kind of at a diagonal path from the town. And I'm going to show you where you're looking for, because you're going to be looking for a rock and water. See the rock and you see the water? You're going to want to approach it from the middle. I'm going to descend now. And then I'm going to pass the rock and then hit the land button. And I should be able to land the car no problem if I do that. Any other angle that I've tried, I've always crashed the car. So here we go. We're going to land now and hope that we will not crash. And we are good. We have landed. Okay, so that's how you do it, guys. It's really not that difficult as long as you look for that water and you look for that rock and you come at it from that angle from the volcano place. Alrighty guys, well that's going to pretty much do it. There is a lot of really awesome loot leading up to the dungeon that you might want to collect as well. So that is something to consider. But once you actually do the dungeon and you beat it, and remember if you're having any trouble, there are YouTube videos out there that will help you with some of the jumping puzzles. You will get the Black Hood and it is by far the most amazing accessory in this game. I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace! So